Aquarius, God woke me up this morning and he said, I need you to believe. I need you to believe in the power in me and the power in you and the power of we. I need you to see your God energy. I need you to rise up like the goddess you are. I need you to claim your abundance, become the energy of the earth. I need you to see that you are protected and you are safe to shine and to share your voice. I need you to be who I created you to be. I need you to tap in to that Christ consciousness. I need you to tap into that God, God is that source energy. I need you to share your voice without thinking. I need you to just let it flow, let it go, let it flow, let it go. I need you to stand up on that stage. I need you to open your heart and let it flow. I want you to be the one to awaken and activate every part that I have given you. I want you to be the one to awaken and activate to the life of your dreams. I want you to be the one who has abundance coming in consistently, continuously, never stopping. Yes, my flow don't stop. The tape don't rock. You know, this energy of like rock, paper, scissors and somebody like literally throwing a rock at your tape as as it's flowing right as it's playing and you be you're being so afraid to step into your power because you're afraid of the rocks that are going to be thrown at you as you are flowing as you were as you were going right and spirit says don't be afraid of the naysayers naysayers don't be afraid of the haters don't be afraid of what they may throw at you Baby, this glass that I put in front of you is made of diamond. It's rock solid. Can't nobody harm you. That broken heart that you keep receding to, open it and let me heal you. Let me free you. Let me unleash you. (laughs) He says, let me ground you. Mama comes in. She says, you tried this, you tried that, you tried this. How does this feel? Is it just right? And if it isn't, try again. Don't be afraid to start over. No matter where you are in life and whatever it is, don't be afraid to change the perspective and see it from different ways. Open your heart, allow your heart to play, and then follow where it leads. Follow where it leads. There's this energy of cancer coming through. Your third eye is really opening unto you. It's this energy of of Jesus, this energy of Mary Magdalene. It's it's this beautiful harmony that is is trying to it's, it's trying to get you to write that beautiful symphony within you. But there's this energy that is unstable. And it's like you keep glitching in and out, in and out, in and out. And that glitch is belief. It's faith. Right? It's confidence. It's you being willing to know who you are. You being willing to know who you are. If you are not standing strong in who you are, who you're becoming, let the love in. Let the love heal you. Let the love guide you. Let the love free you. Let the love bloom you. Now it's time for that seed to germinate. Whatever the seed is, it's time to germinate. Francesca, it's time to be free. It's time to unleash, let go surrender fully the energy of Scorpio coming in to liberate that sacral chakra to liberate your creativity to let it fly free doesn't matter what rocks they got prepared to throw at thee no weapon formed against you right 
No weapon formed against me shall prosper. So you keep going. You keep standing in that light. You keep stepping on that podium. You keep spreading your truth. You keep sharing your truth. In whatever form it comes into you. There's people out there that they're throwing these seeds. It's these seeds of negativity, right? And because you are learning, right? Because you are awakening, your aura is not as strong, right? Because that doubt is leaving it thin. That fear is leaving it thin. That anxiety is leaving it thin. The feelings of not being safe is leaving it thin. It's allowing these seeds of negativity to kind of seep through. You know, some are getting stuck to where you're feeling like you're walking around with this pain, this shame, this blame, this heavy, dense energy. But all it is, is you looking in the mirror and saying, that's not me. That's not mine. That's not my energy. I am pure light. I am pure love. I am divine. I am a sovereign being. I am authentic. I have high integrity. I am virtuous. I am virtuous. I am righteous. I am divine love. I am divine energy. I claim who I am and I step freely. And the more you claim your sovereignty, the more you claim your truth, the more you claim who you are. Speak it, sing it, write it, share it, paint it, uh, whatever, create it, what, however you do that, however you keep expressing and claiming, I am, I am, I am love, I am love, I am love, I am love. The more your aura will strengthen and those seeds of negativity that people are throwing at you, you will be untouchable. They will come at you and they will dissolve in the light. Because that is who you are. That is who you were created to be. That is your divine blueprint. Your originality. It's you. It's always been you. You are the sun energy. You are the original. You are the zero. Ooh, powerful, baby. Completion is near. Completion completion is near. He says, step into power. Step into power. With every breath, I step into my power. With every breath, I step into my power. And if you're getting it twisted, let me remind you, your power is love. Every step, every breath, I step into love. With every step, with every breath, I step into love. With every step, with every breath, I step into love. With every step, with every breath, I step into love. Yes. Yes. With every breath, with every step, I step into love. Say it. Claim it. Let it be confident. With every breath, with every step, I step into love. Open, expand, allow your energy to open and expand into more love and into more love and to more love. Now remember, expanding this energy, when you are feeling your energy go here or go there, you say, no, I'm expanding into more love. I cut that energy out. I release that energy. I release you. I let you go. I detach. I unblock. I unstuck. I release. I let go. I detach. I unblock. I release. I let go. I detach. I unblock. I release. I let go. I detach. I let go. I unblock. I release. I clear. I cut. I clear. I cut. I clear. I clear. I clear. I cut. I detach. I expand into more love a thousand times over I expand into more love infinitely within myself I expand into more love imagine yourself as a beautiful world card and around you is a beautiful spear and it's just expanding within itself expanding expanding infinitely abundantly expanding more love more love more love more love infinitely contained in this beautiful spear of your aura of pure protection. Ah, feel that ignite you. Feel that activate you. Let love free you, heal you, activate you, 
Let love guide you. Let love inspire you. Yes. Allow love in your heart. Allow love in every space within you. Allow love everywhere you are. This pure, unconditional love. Release the conditions. Release the judgments. Release the criticism. Release the attachments. Release, 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 let go. Release, 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 let go. I invite in divine harmony, clarity, certainty, and discernment. Allow the sword of truth to free you in every moment. Whenever you're feeling clouded, whenever you're feeling down, whenever you're feeling judgy or judged, whenever you're feeling fearful or anxiety, take a moment and expand in love. Maybe that moment is a few moments. Maybe the moment is five. Maybe the moment is a few hours. Maybe the moment is a day. Maybe the moment is two days. Maybe the moment is three weeks. Maybe the moment is a year. Whatever your moment is, take it. Claim it. You are worthy and deserving of receiving healing and healing. You're worthy and deserving of love encompassing everything that you are, think, do, and be. You are worthy. You are worthy. I am worthy. Say it now in that heart space. I am worthy. Bring it down into that sacral chakra. I am worthy. I deserve happiness simple. I deserve happiness. I'm worthy of happiness. I deserve happiness. I'm worthy of happiness. I'm worthy of happiness. If your only goal in life were to be happy, that is all you need. That's it. That's, that's the only goal you need. I'm happy. I'm happy. And let the less, let the rest flow. Let the rest follow. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Where does that lead you? I'm happy. I'm happy. Where do you go? How do you feel? I'm happy. What opportunities come to you? What falls away? I'm happy. I'm happy. Where does I'm happy lead you? Yes. All right. And with that, we're ending off with numbers 19 and 11. Spirit coming through. Spirit coming through. Spirit coming through. 19 and 11. Let's break it down. Boo boo. Whew. True north, baby. True north. All right. So that number one, I'm seeing this new beginning and this clarity, this certainty. Confusion is, is leaving. Okay. It's leaving. And the reason why there's this energy of uh, a light bulb moment. Okay. There it is. Do it again. There it is, snap those fingers, a light bulb moment, all right, of something just instantly hitting where the light, as soon as the light goes off, light bulb moment, it comes back on. That's your energy. As soon as you get stuck, as soon as you, you, you consciously realize, oh shoot, I'm stuck. The light bulb goes off and you're unstuck. As soon as you realize you're blocked, light bulb goes off, you're unblocked. Okay. This is you working with Archangel Michael. This is you like he is embodying your spirit. You are walking as the sword of truth, the sword of truth, the truth of all ages. Okay. And when I say ages, this is, this means of all time, of all universes, of all dimensions, the truth, you are walking in that. So nothing is going to be able to come in front of you or come to you without you knowing the truth, the source of the truth, because you're living in your heart and you're allowing that sort of truth to be, it's going right in between your heart, right in between the center of all of your chakras. Okay. Right in that main meridian line, the sort of truth is there and it's releasing, releasing at a pace that's best, at a pace that is best for you and for me, for us, for we, for them, for they. All right, releasing, walking in that. That's that one. Where does the nine come in? Ah, sovereignty, nine of pentacles, baby. Yes, let's get it. Independent. I am free. 
I am liberated. I am freedom. I am free. I am liberated. I am freedom. I am free. Speak it and speak it. Keep speaking it aloud. Allow your light body to free. Command your energy. I am free. I am free. I am free. I am free. I am liberated. I am liberated. I am free. Woo! Also with that nine of pentacles, you become a boss. In some way, shape, or form, there's something you're about to start, some endeavor, right? If Hashim be for me, who be against me? If God be for me, who be against me? If the universe be for me, who be against me? Yes. Claim your sovereignty. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Walk forward. Walk free. I am anointed. I am anointed. I am anointed. Walk forward. Walk free. I am free. To be who I authentically came here to be. All right. That's tying in that ace of swords and that nine of pentacles energy. That wisdom coming through so, so succinctly. Do your homework. If you're being called to the owl, go look up the owl. Meditate on the owl. Invite the owl into your heart, your body, your mind, your spirit. Invite the wisdom of the owl in. Invite the wisdom of the high priestess in, okay? Activate that divine feminine energy. Do that work. Whatever it is, you know what it is. You know what it is, he says. I gave you the power to see. Now, what are you going to do, baby? Yes, yes, yes. Coming in again is that 11. All right, so we've been talking about the number 11, Aquarius that's your house the 11th house right so we that 11 so this might be time for you to learn about the 11th house what is it what what is it what does it mean for you for you to meditate on it journal what you get okay so there's this energy of not okay how do we say this this there's this energy of not pushing away the book okay and there's also this energy of amplifying whatever it is that you read or you receive, right? Read because we're all we're talking about books here. So this is you going into books. This isn't this isn't videos. This isn't this isn't audiobooks. We've talked about reading and spirit is bringing it in again. He wants you to read. He she, okay? He wants you to read. The universe. If the universe is for me, who be against me? All right? Whenever you're feeling uh confused whenever it's you're feeling like blocked like you can't think right call it in call it in okay snap those fingers clear that energy unblock 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 Mm. tell the ego no you cannot live here i need you to step back i need you to step back i need you you know it's time God is saying, let me transform your mind. Let me transform you. Let me transform you. He lead me by still waters and he restore from a mind. He, re- he lead me by still waters and he restore my mind. 24. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. And yes, bringing it through. So there's this energy of your mind getting balanced. That's also why cancers come in because there is some emotional garbage going on seeing 18 that is in your third eye that should not be there should not be there remove all emotions remove the emotions remove the emotions from those upper chakras remove them and let them flow down let them flow down let them flow down cut 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 all right, the teenage, the teenage kraken is coming through. The teenage kraken, if, if you're being called to it, if you've watched it, but if you're being called to it, go ahead and watch it. There's something in there for all of us. Yes. Thank you, universe. Thank you, elementals. Thank you, jackets. Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. There's something in there for us. So I'm. this is the thing. 
I'm, I'm trying to break it down. I'm like, I want to go to the one. I want to go to the one, one. And he's not letting me break down the 11th. He's not letting me break down. But what he's doing is he's placing it inside of me, right? So what you do with that 11, this is a meditation. It's an invitation. You take it or you leave it, all right? What it is, is you bring the 11 down into your shoulders. So see the number 11 coming down from Christ, coming down from source, all right, coming down from the most beautiful light you've ever seen in your entire life, all right, coming down straight from spirit. You might see the eagle, you might see rainbow light, and just bring that 11 down, and it's coming down through you, and it's expanding out through your arms and then in the center of that 11 is your light column is that beautiful sweet spot is where you are one I am one I am one I am one is that integration all right I am one I am one I am one this is you activating that intuition this is you becoming the magician, all right? This is you merging with your high priestess energy as well, right? Because remember, the magician is one, but also high priestess is two. You break high priestess down, you get 11, right? One and one. Beautiful. So let's come into that. It's time to take the mask off. It's time for you to be the superstar and shine the way that you were created to. Yeah, created to be. Created to be. When you are just being and you're fearless, doubtless, where are you? You're in your center. Spirit says, practice this and let my light shine through you. Through you. So feel that 11. Expand the 11. The number one is expand it from your shoulder all the way out to the tip of your arm. I just saw an owl. Thank you, a blue owl. Thank you, the truth, the truth, the truth. And then take that other 11. That other number one on uh, your left side. So I was on my right. Take it and bring it to. Thank you. Guys, Kundalini is rising. So just give me a second to surrender. And as I'm surrendering, I'm seeing that number 11. Ah, it's beautiful. And I'm just allowing it to clear my energy. Okay. I'm allowing it to lift me. And that's what you do. You just allow that swirling to happen. That swirling, that whirling, that twirling, that vortex in your center. You allow it to rise, 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 unleash, unblock, unleash, unblock. Free, free, free. I am free. I am free. I am free. I am liberated. I am free. I am free. I am liberated. Cut, 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 detach, 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 let go, let go, let go, let go. Let go, let go, let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. Release and surrender. Now let that one on your left side expand from your shoulder all the way to the tip of your hands. If your hands were out to where you yourself look like a cross. Okay? And that energy, that one pillar of light on one side, the other pillar of light on the other side, which your pillars look like the number ones. Allow the number ones to connect up into that very beautiful, beautiful, beautiful light all the way above you. They connect up into that light and they bring down. And now imagine those ones going all the way down to the bottom of your feet and it's connecting, connecting, connecting into the core of Mother Earth. Uh, the most beautiful, brightest, beautiful pink you've ever seen. It's more of a, a peachy color, a pink and a yellow. There's some orangey coming in, but it's really like this, this iridescent, beautiful pink, orangey, yellow color. And it's just, just connect in, feel yourself open and allow the energy of mother to flow through those tubes of lights, which are those ones and flow up through your feet all the way up through your light body. And you're going to feel it on the sides. You're not going to feel it in the center. You're feeling it on the sides. What this is doing is expanding your energy and giving you this foundation of feeling safe, helping to balance out the energy balancing out the third eye eyes lifting up as the energy moves up through you just allowing surrendering opening easy it's easy for me to receive i'm worthy of receiving it's easy for me to receive hands up palms open it's easy for me to receive i'm worthy of receiving it's easy for me to receive i'm worthy of receiving it's easy for me to receive i'm worthy of receiving 
Just let it out. That awe is clearing that crown. You're feeling more peace. There's this energy of jacks coming in. All right, the energy of play, joy is starting to fill you up. And now you are feeling the energy rise from the bottom of your spine all the way up, 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 up. And this energy is joy. Ah. And as the energy is coming up, more joy, you're feeling more energy, more joy is coming up. We're going to go into a different seed mantra. The seed mantra is he, H-E-E, all right, bringing it from the bottom, Mm -hmm. Uh, thank you, of your root and bringing it all the way up through the center. You should start to see yellow energy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, angels. Thank you, angels. Thank you for expanding the joy inside. Thank you, thank you for expanding the joy inside. You might start to feel the joy spreading through your arms, spreading through your legs. Unblock, unblock, unleash, unleash. Unblock, unblock, unleash, unleash. Unblock, 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 unleash, unleash. Flow. Ah, flow. He. And what you do is the he. You bring it from the bottom of the spine and you he. You bring the energy all the way up through your light column and out your crown. He. Eyes roll up as you reach your neck, your chin. Eyes roll up to further allow the flow of the energy to move up up and out your body is relaxed your throat is relaxed all right your arms are just beautiful he That was an angel call. That was an angel tone that came through us. Thank you, angels. Thank you, angels. Thank you, angels. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, angels. Thank you, angels. And so the toning in the he, you just allow yourself to tone wherever it needs to tone. And if you're having issues with the toning, just allowing yourself to go, letting the mind go, thank your angels for coming in and supporting you, assisting you, and then they will help to clear what needs to clear so that you can get to the frequency that is needed for you to embody your truest self. Your truest self. Activate activate align 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 awaken 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 i am aware i'm aware i'm aware and with that we're going to end thank you so very much if you felt this if you love this let me know in the comments yes yes and yes i really appreciate you all Mm, I honor your light very much so. Yay, 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 yay. All my information is in the description box. Thank you, everyone, and namaste.